Lord and we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so elated that you have chosen to spend your Sunday worship experience with us. On behalf of our pastor and first lady, the ministers and members of Beulah Refuge Tabernacle and First Refuge of Barnwell, we say welcome. Service will begin momentarily. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We also invite you to be active in the comments to give praises to our Lord, encouraging to the worship leaders and the man of God as he brings forth the word on this morning.
ahead of our life. So I thank you. Everybody should be expecting things. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this morning, O oh God. Lord, we know we can't do nothing without you. Lord, you're with us up this morning, O oh God. Praise in the Holy Spirit. Bless your Holy Spirit. Bless your Holy Spirit's name. Lord, help us not forget about you, O oh God. All the things you have done for us, including your precious gift of your Holy Ghost. Lord, we need your, your mercy. We thank you for your mercy and your glory. All the things you have put upon us, O oh God. Lord, you're so merciful, so kind, so wonderful. Lord, we didn't deserve it, but Lord, you did it anyway. Lord, we didn't deserve your presence, your glory, your mercy, but you had mercy. For your love, oh God, look down upon us. Lord, you put us out the muck in the marsh. You stand us out for your God. Lord, we pray that you should bless the service of this day. Bless the man of God to bring forth the word of God. Let our ears, O oh God, do, do all the word of him. And listen, O oh God, and put it down in our soul. Bless our under shepherd, O oh God. Bless our diocese, O oh God. Bless the men, O oh God, everywhere. And the women, O oh God. Lord, bless our diocese, O oh God, because they're closer to you. Lord, look at all you pray, Lord. To innocent people, Lord. Put it in your heart, O oh God, and his mind to stop what he's doing. Lord, bless your people, Lord. Look at our unsaved people, Lord. My Jesus and every Lord. Our unsaved people, Lord, our young men, Lord, help us. Use us, O oh God, for your honor and your glory to bring them to you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I reverence your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hey, the give me shout Hey, give me Lord, I thank you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Our scripture lesson. Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mind. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall they hear their own and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Thank you for reading his words and I bless you in my heart, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine.
everybody. He is good all the time. 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. My God, every day of every, every moment of every our God is a good God. And I bless his wonderful and adorable name, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's give the Lord a hand praise for our praise team. Amen. Ushering us into the presence of the Lord. And we certainly thank God for them. In a very special way for them and their and their talents. Amen. For the glory and the of the name of our God and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless him and we reverence him today for his goodness and kindness. We certainly give honor to all of our ministerial brethren and the presence of our assistant pastor Miller Bag. The word on this morning to uh assistant pastor Ella Willisy Hampton, to our uh, minister Urban Ryan, uh deacons our beloved and precious mothers to our first lady, Shepherd Mother Smith, in her absence. Amen. Keep her in your prayers. She's still mending, but a little ways yet to go by the grace of God. And we certainly praise God for your prayers and, and your blessings of her. Amen. As she said, her certainly in regards to all of you for the blessings that you forwarded unto her on that Sunday. And we thank God for. Amen. God being God. And man, and I bless him. Amen. The circumstances don't change the fact that he's God and he's an able God. Amen. I bless him and I do praise him. Well, thank God for on yesterday how we were blessed to uh, participate virtually in the 50th pastoral anniversary for my good friend and brother, amen, and mentor, amen, Apostle. Wilbur L. Jones and Shepherd Mother Solomon Jones on yesterday. What a beautiful service it was. Amen. All the different words of, of praise and words of exhortation and words of encouragement to this great man of God. And certainly we bless God and we pray God's continual blessings upon him that he will add to his years and, and life to his years. Both he and uh, Mother Jones, and we certainly bless the Lord. It was just a beautiful celebration. Uh, the mayor of New York, amen, came on and had words of greetings, amen, the new mayor of New York, and that was quite a surprise uh, to everyone. And we just certainly bless the Lord, amen, for being a part of it and participating and letting him know that we still love him here in South Carolina. And we do bless the Lord and do praise Him, Amen, for all of His goodness. Now we want you to be mindful that a pastor will be preaching Bible study on this coming uh, Wednesday night. I'll be setting out the lesson on tomorrow, God willing, where we're going to be dealing with uh, personality versus functionality. And then we want you to tune in on that, Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, personality versus functionality. Amen. Job to do in the kingdom of God. We want to talk about that in the name of Jesus. We just bless God and just praise God for Amen. All that He's doing and all that we know that He's yet going to do. Now I want to remind and uh, make call to notice to in particular to all the brethren, the pastor, uh, the ministerial brethren, and to deacons uh, that is. Uh, um, uh, card, money, I read on uh, what you call this is it? credentials, cards, money is due uh, by the second of April. Now, I we need to know, I need you to let me know whether or not it's $100 for each person in the renewal of your credentials, your elders' card, your deacons' card. Now, I need to know before the church spends money. That you're not going to give up, get up all 100000 I want to spend the church money and then I got to be, they got to be two years getting 100000 the church. So if you don't want to spend $100, let me know so I will include your name uh, on the list. But we've got to get that taken care of next week. So if you're here today, 
you know you're not wrong. Um, I'm going to your credentials that you know so you can get the adjustment in the name of Jesus Christ. And we serve the best. I want to say hello to all the saints in Barnwell, Pastor Love and Dylan, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mother uh, uh, Mother Jean Falls and Mother Mary Davis and our sister, Amen, uh, Myers. And uh, we just bless the Lord for the saints there. You all keep the saints in Barnwell in your prayers. Amen. They're tuned in. I know, I know they're watching right now. Our sister Renee Gina, Amen, all the saints there. Uh, in Barnwell. We're looking forward soon for the coming of the call. The God is just going to release the blessing of the Lord and we're going to be able to get back into full swing of okay. that. But until then, we're going to do the best we can by the grace of God. That right. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Before I call our sister uh, uh, Benjamin to come, I want to sing just a little bit of this song. It just Dropped in my heart this morning. Like, you know how sometimes you can um, hear someone else hear a certain tune and it just reminds you of a song. And Dolores was humming this morning and she hit a certain tune uh, in her humming. It wasn't this song, but it had the a beginning tune of it and it just been ringing in my heart ever since. And I just want to sing a little bit of it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so full and free. Keep me, Lord, in thy full grace. Keep me, Lord, till I see thee. Keep me, Lord, in thy great love. Till I reign with thee in thee. Sister Benjamin. Praise the Lord, everyone. Look, if I can have everyone to sing, sing. I'm so opportunity for coming on the pulpit. For those of you who wish to put your heels on the table, I ask that you face God now and offer this direction to the table. So I'm going to offer you a little bit of a pass down to the table. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, our Father. To die and be lost. To hold our hearts to come to the fountain that shall never run dry. And we thank you, God, for all that your hand hath provided. And thank you, Father, for food, raiment, and shelter. Thank you, Lord, for an occupation, a job to go to, to provide for the necessities of our homes. Father, we understand that all that we have did not come of our doings, but of your great love for us. You have shared with us of the treasures of heaven. And now, Father, your people come with the spirit of thanksgiving within their soul to give a portion of what you have blessed them with. Bless now, Father, both the gift and the giver. Consecrate the gift for the upbuilding of the kingdom. 
bless the giver, that they may have even more to give. Do it all, Lord, for your glory, for your honor, and that your name might be praised. And we're going to praise you and give you all the glory and honor. It is in the name of Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Praise God for being here this morning. And welcome again to Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, 469 Landfill Road. We praise God for you being here this morning. If there are any visitors in our midst, we ask that you stand and we say, praise the Lord to you. We thank you for joining us this morning via Facebook Live and teleconference call. And we pray that you are blessed today through the message with which will be brought forth by our elder Kelsey Mack. We ask for you to like and share this live stream, be active in the comments, to give praises to our Lord and to encourage the worship leaders and the man of God on this morning. Our announcements for today, please Remember our District 3 Missionary Service via Zoom at 4 p.m. on this afternoon. Again, our District 3 Missionary Service at 4 p.m. Zoom. The theme for the district is, we are progressing and going forward. Hebrews 6 and 1. The topic for the missionary meeting this afternoon the first one will be entitled, Still Standing by the Grace of God. And our second speaker, His, His Grace is Sufficient. Also remember, as our pastor has stated, our Bible class on Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Praise God for everyone that's here and pray for all of those that are sick and shut in. We praise and thank the Lord for a praise report from our deacon, Andrew Lockett, is doing better. Amen. We praise God for that. Remember to pray one for another in Jesus' name. Our quote of the week comes from our 2016 theme from our pastor. You're not in this by yourself. Take your present and fulfill your future. God bless. And now we're going to have a selection by illustrious Sister Lena Miller this morning. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Give an honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this morning, this afternoon. We truly thank you, the Lord, for how good he is to me. We thank you, praise the Lord. I love him so much, and I love him too. Give an honor to our pastor. Since you smell him too much, Sheldon Smith did not ask him to all our elders and everybody sitting in the house of the Lord this morning. We say praise the Lord. And this morning, we're going to walk up the King's Highway. No matter what comes your way, keep walking. Walking up the King's Highway. I'm praising God every step I take. Oh, I'm walking up the King's Highway. I'm praising God every step I take. This God is my Father. Why should I sorrow? One step today and another step tomorrow. I've got so many hills and mountains to climb, but I'm taking them one step at a time. I'm walking, walking up that tree. Oh, 
to the old time way. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But I heard that's the teaching on, and I'm going to preach in a minute, preaching on about all that dancing. And I heard um, the minister, he may be an elder, Paul Scott. I heard him went up to one of the big churches and, and I said, I know how he going to preach. It ain't going to be no shout, but it's going to be the truth. He said, you can't on that dancing. And he said, if it ain't dancing, they say it ain't God in it. And he preached the truth. But we pray that he going to get back. But he might not never get back. But he preached the truth that time. What they needed. I said, Pastor preached the same thing. That's right. All that look at it, look at it. You can't live off of that. The devil don't respect or dance. He respect that word, the word of God. Oh, I don't have a great church in this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Getting the word. And stay there. Amen. Ready for Jesus coming. Amen. Look with us. The book of Second Kings. In the fourth chapter. Fourteen verse. Thank God, it's praying time in the land. Amen. As one, the conception word is crucial. When they're threatening and sending nuclear attacks all over the earth. Somebody said the rapture must be near. And the great tribulation is going to kick in. So the question is, will you be ready? Somebody gonna lift his hand up and say, I'm gonna be ready. By the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna be ready. Not get ready, but be ready. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, the time, the time peace is right for the rapture to take place. That's right. Time peace is right. It can come any moment. My God. Thank you, Jesus. It can come before I finished preaching here this morning. The time is right for the Lord to come and snatch away the church. Oh, God, help me to be ready. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Second Kings. Yes. Study this much, but anyway, I'm going to come across the field. Second Kings, Ten chapter, fourteen chapter, fourteen chapter, the fourteen verse, Second Kings, fourth chapter, fourteen verse. You have to say amen. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And God's answer, Really, she has no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And he had 
all of her, she said, she's doing the Lord. They said about the season according to the time of life. Embrace, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Hey. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thy handmaid. The woman conceived and bare this son at that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a great day that he went out to his father, to the reapers. He said unto his father, my head, my head, he said to the lad, he carried him to his mother. And he had taken him and brought him to his mother. He sat on the knees to me that died. And she went up and laid him on the bed for the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young black men and one of the young donkeys that I may run to the man of God and come to him. He said, Wherewith will I go to him today? It is not a new moon, nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. And I would like to leave a thought with you on this morning. All is well. Thank you, Jesus. All is well. There are Many Bible stories that God came to the aid of his children. Notice that the Jews are being attacked at a great peace in this earth now. But the word of God is just being fulfilled. <coughs> the Jewish brothers were being attacked to drive them back to Israel to return to their homeland. This Bible story is a woman called the Shumanite woman. She observed the man of God passing by her house. She perceived him to be a holy man. And she was a well off black woman. Financially, she was well off. And she told her husband she wanted to build a chamber, add a room on for the man of God that he might rest himself on his journey as he passes through. Amen. And we know she built a chamber, a room for him. And here in the story, he and his servant is having a conversation about her and thinking of a way to reward her. And here she is being rewarded with a son. I wish I had a praying church. A son. Here is the prophecy of Elisha saying and speaking over her after the conversation that is ended her husband is old and she don't have a child. 
And so he prophesied on her nine months later, she shall bring forth a son. And as he said, it came to pass. You know, she said, man of God, don't lie to me. Because she's looking at the natural. And when, when God sends his word, it's got to fulfill what God says. But there has always been trials of everyone in the Bible. And she is a faithful woman to her husband. And she birthed a son. It looks like everything is just going fine. And the son is with the daddy in the field working and he hits his head and he dies. And he calls for the father calls for his wife to come and get him a son. And so he dies, her son dies in the lap of this woman of God, the Shemite woman. This is an indication that she had a relationship um, with God by her actions. She didn't panic. I wish I had a praying church. She said, give me a chariot and the lad to take me to the man of God. And the husband said, well, this is the time when the man of God can't be found. It's not a, the new moon nor the Sabbath day. And so he's not accessible. And she tells her husband, it shall be well. I wish I had a great church. Yes, so we fast forward, amen, the experiences that we have. This woman, faith, came out of her in the midst of the test. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. It's what she said that shows you that she had a, a relationship that was connected to God. Amen. Yes. And others have had the same experience. I remember David when he had about 600 soldiers and David and his men were on war raids out in the, the country there um, the Philistine kings who had given them a city called Ziklag, amen, to live there. And while he was out raiding other countries, amen, the Amicalites was raiding his country. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. And you know the story when they returned back to see Ziklag was on fire. Oh, yes. Can you imagine how when you return and see your house on fire and not knowing where your family was at? Wow. And here these men looked, amen, to see whether their family had perished. But it said that they had to observe that there was. No bones in the fire. To be able to say that their children and their wives were taken captives. But in the moment, sometimes you don't know what you could do when you're in a moment of that distress. But David is a perfect example on what to do. Amen. He cried. All the men and David, they said they wept. He was soldiers. He was 
Amen. Warriors in battle. And said they had they wept till they had no more power to weep. Oh yes. And then David overhears one of his servants overhears a conversation saying, They're going to stone you. They're thinking about stoning you, David. You know, when things don't go right, amen, they always blame the leader. But that's just how it is. If it goes well, he gets the glory. If it goes bad, he gets all, all the, um, the anger. Say, we ought to do it this way. Amen. Here, David had learned by his relationship with God. Time passed on what to do. Amen. You know, amen, when he was a shepherd boy, Amen. And he went to fight Goliath. You know the story how they doubted that he would come back alive against Goliath. Amen. But you know God had proven himself when he kept his father's sheep day and night. You know the bear and the lion came to take the sheep. And it was his relationship with God Amen. In the nighttime, amen, he serenades his God with his musical instrument. And he's talking to God as he views the stars and the heavens. Amen. So when the bear and the lion comes, amen, he's able to slew them with his bare hands. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. It's not his human ability. Amen. But it's his faith in God which brings about the anointed on him. Amen. To get the victory over a bear and a lion. Oh, I wish I had a praying church here this morning. Oh, yes. He schools them, and now he has a testimony. Amen. As the test gets greater, now he faces Goliath. And here he faces Goliath. And he's not afraid. Oh, yes. He's not afraid. Amen. He's not trembling. He's not shaking. Amen. Because he refers to what God did for him in time past. Amen. He takes the slingshot. And you know the story kills. Amen. This giant. Amen. And gives Israel the victory. And King Saul. Come on and give the Lord a big shout out. That's right, it is well. Amen. So here, amen, these men are discouraged. But David does what he do all the time. When he is in trouble, he goes to God. He grabs the, the robe of the priest and goes into the presence of God and begins to ask God what to do. It shouldn't have been. Amen. A second thought because he's a warrior. They've taken my wife. They've taken, amen, the soldiers' children and taken their wives. We are the fun and pursuing. But here, what David does is unusual. Amen. He consults God on what to do. Oh, yes. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. He consults God. And Amen. He asks God, Amen, shall I pursue? Oh, yes. And the Lord answers him. Listen, listen to that. The Lord answers him, pursue. Yes. Oh, yes. And the Lord gives him a word while he's pursuing. For so thou shalt recover, thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. Oh, yes. I wish I had a pretty church. Amen. You can say, amen, in the story, amen, all is well, amen, for David too. Amen. He don't know where his wives are at. He don't know whether they have been raped or tortured. Amen. All he know that God said, amen, amen, he shall recover all. Oh, yes. Amen. And you know the story here. They come to the brook of Bashan. And this is a place it calls, it is the place of thirst. This is where 200 of David men got so exhausted in pursuing. Amen. After 
Amen. Their families, they couldn't go no further. Amen. They met well, but they just couldn't go no further. Amen. But here, amen, now David only has 400 men. Amen. And now they're pursuing, amen, with less men. You know, the story comes across an Egyptian and questions the Egyptian who, amen, was a servant of the Amicalites. Amen. And because he was a servant, amen, his Amicalite left him behind because he was sick. Amen. And so he gives the information, and because he has the information where the troops are at, where the Amicalites are at, David finds them dancing and partying. He finds them drinking, amen, and drinking and partying, amen, with all of the spoils that he have taken from the surrounding countries and from David and his men. Oh, yes, here is, amen, the power of God activated. Amen. David fights, amen, the Amicalites from the evening time to the next day of the evening. Oh, yes, it was a long, lengthy battle. Amen. But David and his men got the victory. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. Sometimes you have to hang in there. Amen. Until God, amen, open that door for you. Uh, oh, yes. Amen. Here, amen, these men, now they knew their wives were alive. Amen. And they took the spoils. Amen. I'm a fast cook of the field. They took the spoils. They got their spoils back. David got his wives back. Amen. His men got his, their wives, sons, and daughters back with no harm. Amen. And all that the Amicalites had taken from the surrounding countries, he got that too. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. Isn't it a wonderful thing to know that what God says, amen, shall be accomplished. Amen. They recovered all and so much more. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. The Bible says there was no lacking. Amen. There was no lack now. They had experienced loss. Amen. But amen, temporarily, but it was recovered. Oh, yes, they recovered all. You know the story, amen, how the disciples were under the instructions of Jesus. Jesus sent the multitude away, amen, so he could go into the mountain and pray. But he leaves the instructions to the disciples, amen, to go to the other side. Amen. And as they were rowing after, amen, that Jesus had, amen, had his conversation with his heavenly father. He stood on the seashore and observed his disciples, his, amen, his chosen, amen, men to follow him, to accompany him on the missions. He observes them struggling in the the ship in the boat, right? amen. For the wind was contrary, right? amen. He observed them struggling. Why don't you come get us, Jesus? You see, we're having a tough time, right? you see, we are exhausted. Right? But Jesus stood there and observed them as they struggled, right? amen. But he had already said a word across. Right? Amen. Meet me to the other side. He had already said a word that whatever they met, amen, could not stop them. But here is a story that Jesus comes fishing somewhere in the fourth, amen, amen, the fourth in the night, amen, the hours between 3 a.m., this is the fourth watch, the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., right? This is how a military guards pull guard duty, four-hour shifts, uh, so the soldier won't get so weary, right? But here is, amen, Jesus shows up, right? Right in the midst of a raging storm, uh, He shows up walking on the waters, uh, but they're so fearful, uh, they can't even see, right? 
that when Jesus shows up, uh, it's all right. Uh, oh God, they were fearful. Uh, they thought it was a ghost, uh, but it was Jesus. Uh, and when they recognized who it was, uh, who oh yes, uh, standing on the waters, uh, Amen. Peter says, uh, oh yes, I'm reminded that Peter is a human man, just like you and I. Uh, but Peter had faith in Jesus. Uh, amen. He said, Master, can I come to you? Uh, Jesus said, come on. Uh, and Peter is walking on the water. Uh, you know, Jesus has defined gravity too. Uh, but amen, we look for Jesus to do it. Uh, amen. But we ought to look to do what his words say do too. Uh, amen. The empowerment came because of his faith in Jesus. Uh, and so he walks on the water. Uh, but he took his eyes off Jesus. Uh, and when he took his eyes off Jesus, uh, because he observed the storm more than Jesus. Uh, oh yes. Uh, he said, if you keep his mind on him, uh, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Uh, whose mind is stayed on him. Uh, I'm going to preach in a minute. Uh, but here Jesus, uh, amen, is waiting uh, who is on the troubled waters for his disciples and Peter. Uh, because Jesus knows the whole story. Uh, he knows that Peter uh, is going to meet him on the waters. Uh, and he sinks in the water. Uh, he's on his way to drown me. Uh, but then he remembers uh, who is the savior of the world. Uh, then he remembers, uh, amen, it was Jesus uh, that fed the multitude uh, in a desert place. Uh, oh God, oh God. Uh, it was Jesus uh, that blessed the five rolls of bread and two small fishes uh, in a desert place. Uh, we all would hear me. Uh, but in this desert place, uh, amen, Jesus, uh, listen to what the disciples said. Uh, amen, says, send them into town uh, that they might get some food. Uh, but Jesus said, no, don't send them away. Uh, give them something to eat right here. Uh, and he blesses the fishes of gold. Uh, he blesses the loaves of bread and fishes. Uh, and he eats in a desert place. Uh, and he feeds the multitude. Uh, don't tell me uh, what God can do. Uh, he's God all by himself. Uh, I wish I had a free church. Uh, but look at here. Uh, there were sick folks. Uh, amen. In this town. Uh, and in this town, uh, they heard Jesus was coming. Uh, and they brought all their disease, loved ones. Uh, and when they brought them to Jesus, uh, some said, if I can just touch uh, the hem of his comet, uh, I'll be made whole. Uh, and they said, all of them uh, that touch you uh, were made whole. I wish I had a prayer church. When you get in trouble, this is what you're saying. Amen. Look to Jesus. I will look to the humans. For when cometh my help, my help comes from the Lord. Be the heavens and the earth. Oh, yes. Peter was sinking. But he said, Lord, save me. Jesus reached down in the violent raging of the sea. Amen. Lifted Peter up. Oh, yes. He defined gravity again. He lifted the embodied man, a full man up. Oh, yes. Jesus can fix it. Oh, yes, you are giving some praise. Somebody say, glory. Oh, yes, he's an awesome God. He made that come. When you want him, but he's on time. Oh, yes, oh, yes, can I 
Did you like a see that he's an on time God? He is, he is after, he is a maker, he is the beginning of the end. Ain't nobody like Jesus. Ain't nobody like the Lord. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I love him today. Do you love Jesus? Oh, we love him. Jesus again. He is the love of our soul. Oh, yes. Amen. He was well. She got to the man of God. Told him before he could answer. Before she could answer. Amen. The servant said, Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your son? She said, It is well. Oh, yes. But when she got a little closer, the man. Of God could discern huh, that she was troubled in the spirit, huh, so she falls at his feet huh, and grabs his ankle huh, and grabs his leg. Huh, oh, yes, huh, my son has died. Huh, but when you prophesy over me, huh, that he man shall leave huh, and give me a son in my old age, huh, he's dead in the chamber huh, that I left for you. Huh, Oh yes, so the man of God goes amen to to where the young man is dead. Send this servant, lay the rod on him. Oh yes, and it's still there coming out. Sometimes we don't get it right because we're human. But amen, God. This is what this did. The first word word didn't work. The child didn't come alive. So he prayed. He prayed. He on the child's face. Eye to eye, mouth to mouth. And his body got warm. But it didn't come to life. He prayed again. Don't tell me what a prayer can do. But yes, you're talking to God. And he's speaking to you. Eventually, the child's spirit came back into his body. They went came alive. They went takes the toy and gives him back to his mother and father. They went just what she said happened. She said, It is well. Oh, yes. What do you say in your storm? What do you say? What do you decree? Well, I decree it as well. But yes, it doesn't matter about the storm with Jesus. He called it to eventually the cease. Oh, yes, and they all got back on the ship. Oh, yes, the wind ceased. The wind stopped rolling. He, amen. He, he deserves some praise. He deserves some praise. He deserves some praise. He's a God that can recompense. He's a God that can restore. He's a God that can recover. Thank God your health can be I wish of all things that man is possible. And the being held, even if that soul comes from. Thank God, oh yes, healthy again, strong again, blessed again, favored again. Give him some praise, give him some accolades. They call it David out. David eventually became king. Got on his throne. 
and his own blood son tried to kill him as the Lord. But David, amen, had a wise counselor who, yes, that worked against Absalom because Absalom was young and inexperienced. Who, yes, and because David had already been anointed to be king and nobody can take his place. Nobody can take Bishop place. He's already appointed and anointed. For Mueller, amen, and the house of refuge he won with. But here, amen, here is where David is, amen, barefooted. Amen, it has a hood on him. And his own son has chased him from his throne. David said, I retreat than to allow those that are with me to die. And as he retreated, remember, it was David that created Psalm 23. He said, Lord, is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He said, He prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. Oh, yes. He decreed it. Yea, though I walk through the heaven. Uh, amen. I shall feed uh, no evil. Uh, thou rod uh, and thy staff. Uh, amen. It's comfort me. Uh, you want to give us a praise? Uh, the staff is his comfort. Uh, the staff is his defense. Uh, in the wilderness. Uh, that the Lord is with him. Uh, amen. To deliver him. Uh, the Lord is with him. Uh, to amen. To Guide him uh, to lead him. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, you want to give God some praise? Uh, you want to give God some praise? Uh, it is well. Uh, of the story, and he returns back to his kingship, uh, and is there he is king, uh, and he reigns until he appoints Solomon. Uh, amen. What God has decreed, uh, it cannot be changed. Uh, oh yes, uh, he is the first. Uh, he said, "I change not." Uh, oh yes, give him some praise. Uh, it is well. It is well. No lacking, no lacking of joy, no lacking of peace in his will. He got her son, and all these built by the family went on to fulfill the will of God in their lives. And what the will of God was, they fulfilled it. It is well. To you, it is well. No matter how long you've been praying, no matter how long it had been accomplished, it is well. This will come to pass. Because God has decreed the best that will be in your life. I know His Son. We are the sons of God. And that goes for every gender because it's by the Spirit of God that we have been adopted into the royal priesthood. Adoption is a powerful thing. It is said to be made strong. But all that means is that we have all the rights as a natural child has in the Old Testament. The all the rights do amen. Just like you came out of the mother woman. And then you were down. But in the old in the new testament, the all the things of the son. And it's by the spirit of God that we have connected to Jesus. We heirs of God. Join hands in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. By his 
Spirit. That's why we can say we are the sons of God. The sister can say the same thing. We are the sons of God by His Spirit. And thank God we have the Holy Spirit. Is there one today? Is there one today that needs the Holy Spirit? So we can connect to God by His Spirit. Is there one for salvation? In Jesus' name. And receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is your time. Perhaps it can take place anytime. But our Spirit of God, we will be able to get up. Jesus said, Come unto me, you only that paper. I'll give you this.